November 29th of 2017, um, I gave birth to my stillborn son. His name was KJ. And um, at 33 weeks and four days, we went in for one of those fun um, 4D scans because it was getting close to the end of the pregnancy. So we just wanted to see what he looked like. And there ended up not being a heartbeat, um, which we were at 33 weeks. So it was like, we're at the end of the line here, you know? So, but then I went to my doctor and she confirmed it. And then we went to the hospital um, and I gave birth to him. And um, he was perfect. Just a beautiful, sweet baby boy. We got to spend a couple days with him at the hospital. And that was a really, really, really tough time, um, obviously. But um, then we had our funeral. And both at the hospital and at the funeral home, we were given um, information about the children's park. When that happened, I, it's like I just had an imaginary family that just was there the whole time, you know? <laughs> and they just, I don't know, I walked into my first Glory Babies meeting three weeks after I gave birth to KJ and it was packed and just a lot of kind people that just let me bear my soul. Um, and that's just really what continued to bring me back to the Children's Park was that I was able to be in a vulnerable state um, talk about my son. So being in a group with people that knew exactly what I was saying and and got me was just like this is this is the support I need. Um, and just over the past it's almost been six years, November will be six years um, since he's passed and I've only missed a few meetings um, because I ended up having a rainbow baby but um, the park is just, I don't know, it's just different. It's, it's hard to explain, but once you've experienced that kind of loss and walk into a room of people that know that kind of experience of loss, it just, it's life changing. Mm -hmm. It's very special hearing other people's stories mm -hmm. and you can relate to every single person in the room, no matter, no matter if it's been three months or 13 years. We all understand each other, we get it. We cry, we laugh, we laugh a lot, <laughs> we cry a lot. <laughs> it's just like once you walk in this door, you just get to breathe. And yes, it's scary, yes, it's, because you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen, but this is such a safe place to be vulnerable in that, I mean, even after six years, sometimes I'm like, I've got something a little bit heavy to talk about and I'm a little, nervous of how it's going to be perceived, you know, um, but it's just, it's just a great group of people and we're so welcoming and we love it when people come in. Um, we love building that relationship and it's a lifelong relationship, literally. We know what grief is, we know, we know what it feels like, we know when it's boiling up, we know when dates are coming, um, it, but it's also Grief is celebrated and talked about in my home now, and we're able to teach our children about it. Um, and that's just so valuable to me. Well, obviously it's a gorgeous park. It's just a beautiful place to come and walk around um, and just enjoy the scenery. Um, I've learned so much through this park and this organization and the different support groups that we provide that I just have all these tokens that I just wanna give <laughs> to those that, that need it, you know. Um, but I'm not the same person I used to be. I don't ever want to be that girl again. Um, I'm a better mother now uh, to my rainbow baby and my bonus son. Um, I value life a whole lot more. I cherish every single moment, even in the hard days. 